facing a red hot Vikings team. The Cardinals returning to a new quarterback, looking to avenge Viking a tough loss Cardinals in St. La Louis last week. And the the first Warder's going to get things started and turn back to his old ways in the yes. second play of an early drive as he air mails a pass right into Stop Patrick Peterson's right lap this. for an early interception. First Foster, in his first play as a starter for the Cardinals, after starting for the Jags, takes the read option for 17 yards to the left for an early first down. After Cardinals field goal, Bridgewater's going to get a nice play down the seam here for a big play to his Looking tight end. Right tight ends have killed the Cardinals all year long. A few plays later, Teddy's going to hit a 14-yard so touchdown strike to get the Vikings the early lead in the second quarter. After a few traded punts, the Vikings get a 55-yard field goal try. That's going to come up short and give the ball right back to Arizona. Then on the second and two, Foster's going to get hit hard and actually break his collarbone and be out for the remainder of the season. Second quarterback in three weeks, Arizona's lost. The next play, the Vikings blitz. Logan fumbles, recovered by Arizona. Nice Vikings actually blitzed 75% of the plays today, and the Cardinals never had an answer. Three plays after the punt, Bridgewater's going to be hit on the screen. The fumbles into the end zone, recovered by the Cardinals for the touchdown and the lead. Right before half, Logan's going to hit Farrell for a huge game down the left side. But it actually turns out to be all for nothing. So the Cardinals put the ball down to the six. Here. Then here's a crazy play. One of the craziest plays we've ever had. As Bridgewater tosses it between two defenders on the last play before half for a long 94 yards touchdown strike. Unbelievable that happened, but it gave the Vikings a 14 10 lead. After a Vikings punt in the third, Logan's going to hand off to Smith, who takes it to the right side. Breaks a couple of tackles, makes some moves work. for a nice long game. It sets up a 35-yard no goal try for the Cardinals to pull within one. No Late in the third right quarter, Bridgewater is going to throw another with an extra ugly pass in. here to the left as Cromarty picks this one off and takes it back up the field to the 30-yard line to give the ball right back to the Cardinals and get a really good field position. And after another sack, Logan will hit Brown for a long game on a nice cut over to the side to get the ball inside the 15. Defense Two plays later, Smith's going to take the ball up the middle for a nice nine-yard touchdown run to give the Cardinals the lead. After trading punts early in the fourth quarter, Barner takes the handoff, straight up the gut for a nice spin move and a first down. Three late plays later, Logan's going to hit Farrell on a screen, and Farrell's going to turn it up, get the first down, and get the ball inside the 10-yard line. Three plays later, Bardner's going to take it in for the injured Smith for the four-yard touchdown run to put the game out of reach for the Vikings. Then on the second and inches, Bridgewater goes deep, wants to hit his tight end, one-on-one -on -one coverage, but Gumps is going to pick it off and give the ball right back to the Cardinals. Trying to run the clock out, Logan's going to do a play action, he's going to roll to his right, hit Carson for a big game down the right side, and uh, just about wrap this up. Then... On a third three, Logan's going to hit his tight end again. This time he's going to make a nice spin move. Defenders kind of give up. He's going to dive it inside the two to keep the clock running and end the game with some knees. Cardinals get a hard fought win and break a four game slide. This one hurt as we were down to our third quarterback and a quarterback off the street to hang on until Rush returns. Hey, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of these highlights. See you guys next week.